Hi everybody, it's me, Mr. Myers, here with a quick intro for this lesson. What we're going to go over today is we're going to go over three of the major theatrical awards. We're also going to go over um, your final project slash performance for Module 2. We are at the end of Module 2, so let's get into it, shall we? Here we go into the uh, major theatrical awards. There are, are a couple of things that we're going to get here. I thought I would give you the award of me as a Tony Award. I mean, what can't Bitmojis come up with? But it is there in place because I am not going to be in these slides because there's so much information that I want to give to you. So in this slide presentation, you are going to learn about the Pulitzer Prize for Drama, the Tony Awards, the Drama Desk Awards, and you're also going to learn at the end of the presentation instructions for both parts of your Module 2 final project for Theater 1. Yes! Let's go. So, first things first, we're going to talk about the Pulitzer Prize for Drama, which is an incredibly prestigious award that is given every year. There are a series of Pulitzer Prizes, though. Um, the one for drama is given for a distinguished play. It can be a musical, a play, or a piece of performance art by an American author, preferably original in its source and dealing with American life. That is something very specific about the Pulitzer Prize for drama, but those, those are the criteria. Um, the award winner for the Pulitzer Prize for Drama receives $15,000 and the award, which is super prestigious in and of itself. But $15,000 is kind of a sweet deal. It is named, of course, after Joseph Pulitzer, the publishing magnate and head publisher of the New York World. If you are a fan of Newsies, yes, it is that Joseph Pulitzer. Um, the award medallion is what appears uh, to the left of this slide. There are seven Pulitzer Prizes granted in April, and they are um, granted and voted on by a jury of both critics and professionals in their respective fields. So there's like a Pulitzer Prize for drama, there's a Pulitzer Prize for literature, there's one for poetry, um, there's one for journalism. Um, there's a bunch. There's a bunch. If you want to know more, you can go to the Pulitzer.org and check out all the different awards. It is given, though, for works staged throughout the country. So anywhere in the country, this is a national award. It's actually one of the few na nationwide awards. Um, for anything staged between January 1st and December 31st each calendar year. So they rotate. So if your play opens on December 29th, it's eligible for that year, regardless of critical success. That sometimes makes it harder, though, for those late um, arrival plays and musicals to be considered for the Pulitzer Prize, because unless they're something truly phenomenal, they're not going to like garner enough critical attention. Um, the Pulitzer Prize for Drama was first awarded in 1918. Here on the left-hand side, I've given you a list, <laughs> a list of um, finalists and previous award winners. Um, you can find all of these on the Pulitzer.org website. I've given you a link at the bottom of this slide, which when you get these slides, you can actually just click on that link. Um, the winner this year uh, was is a musical it's kind of like a meta musical. So it's a musical that examines being a musical. It's about um, the life of uh, the lead character. It's called a strange loop. And it deals with like all the aspects of that individual's life as a queer black man trying to make it in musicals in America. So it like the, the subject and the theme kind of loop back in on each other, which is why I think it's called a strange loop. Um, if you, when you're in these slides, when you click on the word winner, it will actually take you to the, uh, a bigger overview of this musical. And if you want, you can click on the trailer and watch the trailer for it as well. It's um, the trailer is quite good and um, looks very interesting. The next award that we're going to talk about is the Tony Awards. Probably the biggest, most 
famous of the theatrical awards. I want to say at least the most famous in America. Um, the Tony Awards are, it is it is theater and musicals like biggest annual awards night. I mean, it's undeniable that it's the biggest annual awards night. It usually happens in June this year, though, with the coronavirus and COVID shutdown. Um, the awards have been pushed back and we still don't know when exactly the awards ceremony will be, but it will be sometime before the end of the calendar year. That's what the American Theater Wing has stated. The Tony Awards are named for Antoinette Tony Perry, who was an American actor, director, producer, and the first leader of the American Theater Wing. Um, Tony Perry was a force of theatrical nature in the early part of the 20th century, and she left behind an amazing legacy with the American Theater Wing, such a cool organization that you can look at um, in more depth by going to the TonyAwards.com or the American Theater Wing.com. The first awards, uh, the first official Tony Awards, were in 1947 after Tony passed away. The awards were named for her. And there's a really cool thing on the Tony Awards website where you can actually see one of the first tickets. It was just like um, an evening for to honor theater, and there were about a thousand people in attendance. Cool trivia note, the tickets for the first Tony Awards in 1947 were $7 to attend. <laughs> I mean, $7 in 1947 is a lot of money, but uh, it was so successful that they raised them to $10, uh, $10 for the next year. I think there are like thousands of dollars now for tickets. The Tony Awards, they award performers, directors, writers, choreographers, designers, and they've even recently added a theater education award into their mix. Um, they award plays, musicals, revivals, um, the whole gamut. The award medallion, the um, cool award medallion, which you can see on their website, was actually designed by a contest winner from the United Scenic Artists, um, which is the union of um, thea uh, theater backstage workers. And it was designed in 1949. It's a really cool medallion. And then it was added to this plinth and it's become this real deal. It's really neat. Um, the television broadcast is where it's at though, right? Like every year, it has become something massive, this huge theatrical award. And Neil Patrick Harris has hosted the awards and Hugh Jackman has hosted the awards. And if you click on this little video right here, when you get these slides, you can actually see James Corden's most recent hosting job in 2019. And this is his, a video of his opening number, which I think is incredible. And it speaks to the live nature of theater. I've also given you, of course, a list of nominees and previous winners. Um, this year, because the awards haven't happened yet, we can only see the nominees. Um, so there are three musicals up for um, best musical this year. They're also pictured up above Jagged Little Pill, Moulin Rouge, the musical, and Tina, which is the Tina Turner musical. And there are five plays nominated for best play grand horizons the inheritance seawall a life slave play and the sound inside you can see more about all of those shows if you go to tonyawards.com and click on nominees previous award winners which we will explore the previous um five Tony Award winners in music in our musical journal. The previous award winners 2019 was Hades Town, 2018 was The Band's Visit, 2017 is Dear Evan Hansen, and 2016 is Hamilton. The thing about the Tony Awards, though, is that they only award shows that open on Broadway. They don't celebrate anything that's off Broadway. And that's why A Strange Loop isn't in the Tony Awards, because it didn't premiere on Broadway before the deadline. Now, there are awards that honor everything, and that is the Drama Desk Awards. The Drama Desk Awards honor everything. Um, they honor Broadway, off-Broadway, off-off-Broadway. It's definitely a lesser known, but still super highly prestigious award for theater in New York. Um, it was founded in 1955. The Drama Desk Awards honor outstanding achievement by professional theater artists on Broadway, off Broadway, and off off Broadway. But still, 
designated to the New York area. Nothing from LA can win if it only makes it in LA. This is just for New York. The comprehensive list of awards for the Drama Desk Awards is huge. I'm not even going to list all of them here because they cover literally every aspect of theater from plays and musicals to actors and actresses to designers and directors and projection design and sound design and book and lyric, like everything. There's so many things that are honored by the Drama Desk Awards. It's voted on, the Drama Desk Awards are voted on and bestowed by theater critics, journalists, editors, publishers, and broadcasters that cover theater throughout the year. They also give every year a Lifetime Achievement Award, starting last year, in fact, in 2019, named after uh, Harold Hal Prince, who we met through our musical journal. This year's um, winners, because they awarded these like right after the COVID shutdown, actually, um, the winner for Best Play or Outstanding Play is The Inheritance by Matthew Lopez, which is pictured um, up here on the right hand side. And then the musical is A Strange Loop, produced by Playwright Horizons, Playwrights Horizons. You can see the previous winners down here, um, <laughs> including some different ones, right? And you might also notice that Hamilton won in 2015 for the Drama Desk, but also won the Tony in 2016. It's because the date that Hamilton transferred from off Broadway at the Public Theater to on Broadway at the Richard Rogers. Complicated, I know. Um, there isn't a complete list of Drama Desk Award winners on dramadeskawards.com, but there is one on, you know, your best friend, Wikipedia. If you go down here to this link at the bottom, you can actually see the list of all the award winners on there. These are the three major awards that you need to know about. Just as a somebody who's studying theater, they're good to know for sure. Um, if you have questions, you can feel free to click through all the little Easter eggs that are in these slides when you get to look at them yourself. But now let's talk about your final assignment for module two. There are two parts to this assignment, two parts that you need to know about. Part one is a little bit of research. I found this amazing article that you can get to by clicking on this link that was put out by Theater Mania, which gives brief descriptions of awards from all over the world. This article, which when you click on this, you'll see it lists awards that are given out in New York, awards that are given out in LA, in Chicago, in Boston, in the UK, all over the world. You just need to skim through that list and look for one that you're interested in learning a little bit more about. Pick one from the list that is not the Pulitzer, the Tonys, or the Drama Desk Awards, obviously, and you're going to do a little bit of research on it. You need to find out more by finding their website uh, associated with the award. You're going to read through and click through the website and learn about their history, the philosophy of the award, who chooses the winners, and then list the most recent winners on number five when you create one well-organized Google slide. You can make that slide exactly like slides two, three, and four that I just showed you on this slide deck. So on one slide, you're going to put together all that information from question number four, philosophy, history, who chooses it, most recent winners, maybe an image or two, and then um, a second slide on your slide deck that just includes any references if you can't fit it onto the first slide. All right. Once you put that together, you're going to submit that through Schoology, and that is part one of your final assignment. Part two, though, has to do with all these videos that are over here because part two is a performance. Imagine that you have won a Tony Award. How fun would that be? So you need to, for this assignment, you need to imagine that you have won a Tony Award in any category, a category of your choosing. Maybe you want to win a Tony Award for lighting design or set design or acting or directing or producing or writing, any Tony Award. You just need to pick one and then you're going to write and practice an acceptance speech. But just like the Tony Awards, you only get a certain amount of time. In fact, yours 
can only be between 45 and 60 seconds longer, no longer. Okay, you need to record your video standing up. You need to frame yourself from the waist up, much like um, these videos show you. It is totally optional that you can dress up, that you could use a prop, create like a, a, a fake Tony Award. I think last year when I gave this assignment, somebody accepted a Tony Award that was a banana. I mean, it's totally up to you what you want to do. Um, use a creative background. Sure, go for it. No matter what, though, you're going to, when you're ready, you're going to submit your video via this link right here, which you can click on, which will take you to um, our Flipgrid um, topic around this. Now, remember, with Flipgrid, you can actually record your video other places and then upload it to Flipgrid. So if you want to get creative in iMovie, if you, whatever you want to do, I'm not going to limit you. Uh, the only thing I'm going to limit you with is time. You only get 60 seconds for this. For some inspiration, I've given you five of my favorite Tony Award speeches of all time. They're all about a minute and a half to two minutes long with, I think the exception of this first one is Lin-Manuel Miranda. You get James Corden's award for win, um, two, two Men, One Governor, is and which is a phenomenal play. Uh, Adina Menzel winning for Wicked. Uh, Cynthia Revo, one of my favorite actresses of all time, who I saw went in this performance of The Color Purple, which is incredible. It's incredible. It's incredible. We'll talk about it later this year. And then Billy Porter, who wins for Kinky Boots, too. These award speeches are so good. I encourage you just to watch all of them because they're phenomenal. <laughs> all right, everybody. That's a lot of information, right? That's okay. You hung in there. You've got this. All of those slides are available on Schoology right now. So if you go into Schoology, you can see all those slides. You can click on all the little Easter eggs. You can review the module two final assignment, both parts of it. And I wish you many broken legs on your Tony Awards acceptance speech. And I look forward to all of your creativity in looking up one of those specific awards. So have fun. Enjoy it. You've got quite a timetable on the due date for this. So don't stress. But get to work. Break your leg, everyone. See ya.